I remember thrifting this shirt a few months ago. I was immediately drawn to the hook and eye detail of this collared shirt, but I knew that it needed a lot of work and I haven't sewn darts since like university, first year university in school, in our sewing class. And I mean, I barely passed sewing class in university. And today I'm actually collaborating with April from Kularpa, who is like, like my, my, my other DIY hero aside from Wendy. I'm just throwing myself into a pit of snakes because it's so intimidating to be DIYing with a DIYer that is like just and I have been subscribed to April. She has taught me so much about sewing. And today we each transformed our own collared shirts. So this was a very scary DIY for me. And I'm just very glad that it turned out okay. Be sure to check out April's video after watching this one to see how you can alter a shirt to fit you perfectly. When I first put on this shirt, I felt like a Chinese auntie that ran her own takeout shop. I'm glad that the shirt was larger and the sleeves were roomy because that gives me extra fabric to gather into puffy sleeves and ruffle hem and more leeway in case I fuck up. I first cut off the sleeves, then cut off the top and bottom of the shirt half inch away from the hook and eye or buttons if you are doing the same thing. And you need to keep the hem for your ruffle. Cut off about 3 inches off the remainder of the collar, this will be my facing. At this point, I realize how have I not gotten myself a dress form, I should definitely make April's duct tape one because it took a lot of extra time turning the shirt inside out and trying to evenly adjust where to take in the shirt. I had to try it on a few times to gauge the fit. I left a little bit of room to take in a half inch dart. So I marked where my nips are and then formed a straight line folding a quarter inch at the hem and then repeating at the back to create my darts. I cut off the excess fabric on the sides and marked where my pins were. I took a lot of extra precaution since this shirt has no stretch. Taking the facing strips, place right sides together, matching up left and right at the front as well as the back facing to the back piece. So a straight stitch half inch in. Sew your darts starting from the bottom and tapering the seam until you take the stitch to the apex and pass your fabric. Set your machine to the loosest stitch and stitch half inch down on all the pieces of the bottom hem that was cut off at the beginning. We're creating a ruffle this way. Make sure you don't back stitch beginning and end and leave a long string when you cut it off. Taking that long string, gently pull, causing tension and gathering the fabric into a ruffle. Match the width of your gathered fabric so the back ruffle matches to the back panel and the two open fronts to their respective front panels. I matched the width first, then knotting the ends, evenly distributed this ruffle after. Taking right sides together, sew all the ruffled hem panels. Make sure your darts are lying flat in the same direction. For the sleeves, I folded the shoulder in since this is going to be an off shoulder blouse. I marked about an inch and a half in and measured elastic for my bicep and my forearm. Mark the half point of every piece of elastic that you have, pin the ends of the elastic to the inner seam and then match the midpoint to the outer seam of the sleeve. This way, when you sew, your elastic will be evenly stretched around. Repeat around the cuff and your sleeves will be ready to sew. I did not know that my machine could do this, but I could remove the base to stretch the sleeve around, making it much easier to sew elastic around. By pinning the elastic midpoints, I knew exactly how much tension I needed to zigzag stitch them down. Trim off the excess fabric when you're done. Then take the front panels to the back, right sides together, and sew the side of the shirt down. Be sure to sew the facing and ruffle edge downwards toward the hem. With the shirt facing right side out, match the seam of the sleeve to the side seam and stitch about an inch or two inside the seams to attach the sleeve.
iron all the facings, the darts, and the edges down. I just had one more little problem. So the only thing is, because this is so fitted now, there's a bit of a gap in the boob. A couple of snap buttons and get it inside here. Thank goodness the shirt came with the inner fabric under the hook and eye or else the shirt would be really gross and gapey. We went from Asian auntie to today's super popular fitted blouses and though the fit could do with a bit more work, I'm very surprised with myself that everything worked out. I'm very happy that I was able to salvage this shirt and turn it into something new that I can wear again. But actually, if you, I would say to watch April's videos first and learn how to alter a shirt to fit you perfectly, and then you could even turn that into this. You can learn so much from April's videos. She is just incredible and I continue to learn from her. So be sure to subscribe to both of our channels and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you make anything of mine, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Q, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!